Good morning. We are celebrating uh, this week, the eighth week now in ordinary time. As you recall, just last Sunday, we celebrated the great solemnity of Pentecost, which officially brings to a close our beautiful Easter season. And then uh, the ordinary time which left off the day before Ash Wednesday resumes. And so today is Wednesday of the eighth week in ordinary time. However, uh, last Monday, we celebrated uh, as a diocese the sacred ordination to the diaconate of three of our five seminarians who, God willing, will all be ordained Catholic priests next year. And uh, it's a double celebration for us. Certainly, God has blessed us immensely with these young men who will be ordained deacons and then be assigned to parishes in our diocese throughout the summertime. And their two classmates will be ordained uh, deacons in Rome on the last Thursday of this next September. Uh, and then, as I said, God willing, all five will be ordained priests next year uh, in June sometime. However, uh, the day after Pentecost, uh, Pope Francis has designated as the uh, memorial of Mary, the mother of the church. And it makes perfect sense since our Blessed Mother was gathered with the 12 apostles and those other first disciples of Jesus in the upper room, when the Holy Spirit descended upon them uh, as the church in one sense formally begins and begins the mission entrusted to it by Jesus. And uh, Pope Francis uh, correctly decided that the day after Pentecost, so it would be the Monday uh, following Pentecost Sunday is to now be celebrated as the obligatory memorial of Mary, mother of the church. And you will recall that uh, the church has always understood her to be our mother as she is the mother of Jesus from the moment when our Lord uh, was dying on the cross on Good Friday and uh, with our Blessed Mother and St. John the Apostle standing beneath the cross, uh, Jesus says to uh, his mother, woman, behold your son, and then to John, behold your mother. We have always uh, believed and understood uh, this to mean that not only is Mary the mother of God in the person of Jesus, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, but it is his will that she also be the mother of the church, of all of us who are uh, conformed to Christ through baptism, through the uh, rest of the sacraments. And so, as I say, it's a beautiful day uh, uh, for the Diocese of Bismarck and for the whole church, since now we have three new transitional deacons who will serve uh, as deacons in three parishes across our diocese for the next few months. And uh, as always, it should inspire all of us to continue to pray for vocations to the priesthood as well as to the consecrated life because all of this builds up the body of Christ, his church. And as members of the body of Christ, it is our uh, task, if you will, our duty to do as the Lord asked us, to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to send more workers into the harvest because the harvest is always abundant. And so uh, while we all rejoice in the many blessings God has given to us, uh, in these young men and in all of our priests, do not forget to continue to pray for vocations. Uh, we simply cannot do without priests. We can't do without deacons to assist uh, all of us uh, 
in advancing and strengthening our Catholic faith and our Catholic life. 